Hi, Chris. Talking tonight after the uh, first game of the season, 24-25 season, sorry. Um, can't be better than three points, can it? No, I mean, it, it opening day, rewind 12 months, we jumped on a coach after being beasted 3-0 by Telford. Um, I think first game of the season, you're always a little bit tentative. You don't know what to expect, really. It's... You can try and watch teams in pre-season, but there's so many changes. So it's sort of an unknown entity. Um, but we're up and running, Neil, and that is ultimately the the main thing. But I think we're up and running in good style as well. I don't think we've scrapped our way through that game. I think we were probably the the better side for the majority. They've, they've had good periods in the second half, but um, I think it's a fair scoreline. I think we, we deserve the three points. I'm, I'm over the moon for the boys in the dressing room. Well, I think I can probably say, I think we do, you know, I think it, you say it's a fair scoreline and yeah, we won, but I think we could have won by more, really. Yeah, I think, I, I, think I, I think we were the dominant side in that game. I think so. I mean, they've come out quick and we spoke about that at half time and we had to weather that for five minutes. I think the the little scurry at half time in the, in the, um, in the corridor there maybe motivated them a little bit more than we, we should have wanted it to. Um, but I think, like I say, I, I need to see that second goal back because to give Anne ball from where we were based on him being kicked at the ball, like that rule has to change. Yeah. Um, we switched off early for the first goal. It's a good ball in, but he's gone a long way and he's ghosted in on Mark. So we'll pick the bones out of that. But I think you can kind of see it's, it's a real positive change that we've, we've lost quite a few. Um, <clears throat> I think we're going to, we we've got a lot of legs, haven't we? Um, and I think we're going to do a lot of damage against sides um, this season with, with what we've got playing style-wise. Yeah, and obviously you, you mentioned there, um, you know, a lot of new faces, but um, I think there were some strong performances from a mm. number of them, uh, matched obviously with uh, people like Josh DeWadu and Ed, yeah. who I thought were both were outstanding today. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them, we've got to look at, I think, Neil, like, if, if we're being honest and open, I think we're going to lose games this year. We, we, we lack in experience. Um, what I think we have is legs, um, but we're going to get it wrong at times. And it, you, you've got two lads there that have returned. Ed was an absolute colossal at the back. Like his reading of the game, he, he's excellent, and we, we need him playing as, as often as we can. And Josh has obviously he got his injury during pre season. He did me a favour and he played a lot centre half so we could have a look at a couple of trialists, but he was excellent. Um, He's all right. He, the way he's chased that goal down for the third, which proved to be the winner in the end, um, which a little bit mad that that's the winner of the game, to be honest. I felt that maybe we deserved a couple more. Um, I think that would have maybe been a bit of a fair reflection. Um, but, listen, we've done enough to win the game. But, yeah, Ed, outstanding. And a lot of them are playing together in the first competitive game yeah. of the season. And it's the first time they've played the level. Yeah. So there's a lot of sort of unknown entity going into it. Um but that can work both ways. That can work with either yeah, you scared. either fear or you don't fear it and, you, and yeah. you step up to the level. And I think today, I think the vast majority, if not all of them, stepped up. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't think you could say anybody's not put a shift in there. I think the, the change in rules to go into five subs is a massive help because we can, we can have starters and finishers now rather than just changes for performances. We can do a little bit more and we've worked on that as a, as a management group this year. Um, to make that work on our benefit. And I think all five subs have come on and they've, they've played a massive part in it, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's the three points. We're up and running. Um, it's, it's what we all wanted at three o'clock this afternoon, however it came. But I'm really happy it's come with a positive performance now. Yeah, and then, um, you know, <laughs> it's a bit like um, London buses, isn't it? You wait ages for football yeah. and then games come all at once. Yeah. It's Tuesday night on to Bedford at Biggleswade Town. Um, obviously, because they're waiting for their uh, new pitch to be installed. Just straight back into it. Yeah, and I think that that's maybe the best way. Um, hopefully, you can rack up as many points as you can in that first week. But I think what I know now is we go to Bedford or we go to Biggles Wade against Bedford. And I know that regardless of however it turns out, we're going to get an honest performance. And it's going to be a hard working performance. And the teams that to take points off us, they're going to have to work hard. And I think that we will be amongst the fittest in the league. Um, and hopefully that, but it ain't always going to pay in our favour, but hopefully that picks us up more points this year. Um, 
and they're a good group as well. So we jump into that. Sudbury's going to be a real tough one. Um, playing on an Astro that we're not used to. I think they've signed really well this summer. I think Bedford have as well. So, yeah, we, we, we'll we see where we are this time next week. Hopefully we're standing, we're talking with nine points. But it's nice that we've got a few more local ones now, isn't it? So yeah. we haven't got to jump on the coach as often as we can. I think our first coach journey is the Bank Holiday Monday, where apparently Layston's local enough for a Bank Holiday. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, we can we can recover now. Um, it's glad that we the cobwebs are out. We've we've got the three points. We can relax yeah. a little bit now and know that we're up and running and we can compete in this league. Nice one. Thanks Lovely. a lot, Chris. Cheers now.